Today, we're going to be training in the free gym and in luxury and comparing both across eight different categories. And this is the most expensive one at about 500 bucks a month. And this gym? This is Wingate Park. Yo, these are brake pads. This gym's completely free, which, to be fair, that's a point for the free gym. Keep it going. Now, one of the benefits of a luxury gym is that you have every equipment to hit every body group. You got treadmills, you have stairmaster, spin machines, row machines. You have all sorts of equipment, hammer strength, free weights, bench, multiple squat racks, but that's all pretty standard. But when you pay a little bit extra with a gym like this, you get even more equipment. This sled that they call the tank, this thing's like four Gs, bro. You get access to this. You also get this stuff, which is like a variety of things that you probably will need to hit different body parts. The point is they give you everything you need. There's actually one more room. And they even got a whole TRX room where you can do more calisthenics, weight training, resistance training. They, they, they really just got it all here. Now you think because it's free, you don't have everything. That's where you're wrong, bro. We got monkey bars. Yo, I haven't done this since like elementary. We got, we got hammer press machines. Yo, you do a hundred of these. You're gonna feel it. Uh, we got pull down machines. We got the leg press with the brake pads. Here's what's, what's really surprising. We're not done here. We got bench press. We have incline bench press. All right, quick note on the incline. You see this bar? This is a thick grip bar. You don't see this in most gyms, bro. It's free here. We have abs, we have pull-ups, we have squats, and we even have free weights. All right, so for the equipment category, while the free gym does have all the essentials you need, this luxury gym literally has everything you could possibly ever want. So therefore, one point for the luxury gym. Now we're gonna compare trainers. I'm gonna meet up with my trainer here at the luxury gym, see what he has in store for me. Right now we're with J.I. the Jedi. I already know. <laughs> this is a customary, I'm, I'm assuming, like, check up, right? Yes, yes, yes. With, with yes. the client. This is our, gonna be our personal trainer at the high-end gym. So what's um, like your goal and focus for today? So in this process, my personal trainer and I decided to look at my current physical state and what my future goals are, and then make a plan to hit those goals. What you got for me? First things first, we're gonna come down here, right? I want you to do 10 of these. So right after the checkup, the trainer had me immediately going into positions and movements I've never done in my life. One thing's for sure, it had me hyped to start working out. And this is something I would have never done without a trainer overseeing me. One, two, three, back out, right? One, two, three, back out, good. One, two, three, back out, nine, one more. That when you do movements that you're not used to, like that warm up, my heart's going like this, bro. Now, another thing I noticed, is that he's not maxing me out on weight. Why is that, bro? Because we're gonna progress through the week. What I want you is to hit your peak. If we start at your peak, how are you gonna maintain that for the long term? So it's building up to your peak, edging it, then doing a deload, coming back, repeating that same cycle. And that's something that training on yourself, you really never think of. No, 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 not you know? at all. So out here, there are no trainers. You're by yourself, so screw the peak. We're going straight into it. We're going to do the Murray. Now, because we are outside and there are no personal trainers, you have to rely on personal knowledge. Now, there are pros and cons to this. Pros, if you're a seasoned lifter, this could be great. Nobody's limiting you. You can go as hard as possible. You can design your own workouts, which can actually be fun. You get to be creative. <laughs> That's round one. We got 10 more rounds to go. Cons? Well, there's nobody overseeing you. You can easily get hurt. It is difficult to design workouts, or you could be doing the workouts completely wrong. God, that was terrible. As for who takes the dub, it's the high-end gym. Even though I like working out by myself, having a coach is invaluable. Even seasoned bodybuilders have coaches. Now this gym starts at 500, and I know that's shocking, but it can get higher. All because of amenities like sports recovery, Massages. Let me show you. We have a lounge room where you can work from. This is a Himalayan salt wall to better your energy levels, bro. Keep, come check this out. We also got the customary sauna. Want to increase that body temperature? Shoot, I think they even got a steam room over here. For those days you don't actually want to work out, but you want to break a sweat. All right, I ain't going in there. They got a steam room. Oof. All right, not, not even to mention the showers. Bro. Look at the showers. Look how clean these things are. You get to shower right after your workout. Again, all name brand products. Now, a key part of the gym experience is where you store things, and obviously the luxury gym. You have a whole beauty bar with name brand product. Oh, that smells good, damn. Yeah, what other gym has a rock climbing wall, bro? Like, talk about getting creative with your fit. I can't even talk. Oh, all right. Now, it says to keep your voice low here. These are the massage rooms. You can schedule massages and you even get cryotherapy. And here's where the pricing gets crazy. So 500 to the base, but it can go up every time you add one of these features to your monthly bill. Now, don't let the free price fool you. Right. We got amenities here too in the free gym. This is a spine decompression machine. An inversion tape for free, bro. Blood's rushing to my head. I'm seeing lights. Spine's decompressed. Let's go. We got a lounge. 
Yo, they even got a track. They even got basketball courts. Multiple courts. Most, most gyms have one court and it's always packed. You got like six of them. I know. You probably were gonna skip past this thinking we didn't have locker rooms. You're wrong. We got a whole stall, men and women. I yes, asked, to be fair, is it gonna be the prettiest thing in the world? No. We just gotta get things done. It's also free. Beggars can't be choosers, bro. But look, you got your stalls, you got your, you got your. Alright, they're both out of <laughs> out of work. But we got running water. And that's all we really need. Because we're here to work out. We're not here for bathrooms. Right? This is an easy one. Obviously the high-end gym, the amenities are crazy. And yes, it comes with a price tag. But man, are they worth it. Now let's go over nutrition. This is a key aspect to training. And here in the luxury gym, they have an entire bar where you can replenish after every training session. We just finished up with the gym there. Great session. Spent what, 30 bucks on, on shakes? Tastes good, clean proteins, healthy for you, great way to recharge. Let's see what the other guys got. Local deli, bro. You got everything you need, it's affordable. We got the hydration. We gotta get into that. those carbs, those proteins. All right, yo, can I get a bacon, egg, and cheese? On a roll, it's good. All right, I got the protein, I got the carbs, I got the hydration. I think that's a dub, bro. Look at that bacon, egg, and cheese. Come on, bro. That's amazing. Is it healthy for me? I don't know. I'm gonna have to give the dub to a luxury gym just because you know the whole point is health and fitness and blah blah blah. But I'm enjoying this one way better, bro. And plus, it's a tight game. So you get a show and nutrition. Now, now let's compare gym cultures. I have an interesting theory about this. The richer a person is, the more they like to be left alone. As I went through all the machinery, it's it's almost like everybody was in their own little world. <laughs> At the free gym, it's totally different. The community, it's real. They hype you up. They want to see you succeed. Every time I saw somebody struggling, everybody would go around and just hype them up. This one's easy for me. The free gym takes it. If you're just starting out, having a support system makes you want to go to the gym. Obviously, the high-end gym won. But it doesn't matter if it's free or expensive or you're rich or you're poor. We can all have an equal experience. We can all enjoy ourselves, make it a great time, and look great too in the process. The point is, you know how many free gyms you guys have around you? We can all be great for free. I should run for president.